All right, 5-6, graphing inequalities. If we're going to graph anything, let's take this example. x plus 5y, and let's make that less than or equal to 10. If we're going to graph anything, we first need to get it into y equals mx plus b form. Now, obviously, we're not doing the equals. We're going to have our, um, our inequality there. So really, this one for us is going to look like this. OK, so we're going to have y is less than or equal to mx plus b. So what we want to do is get y by itself. So first step, we're going to subtract the x from both sides. Now, I'm going to write this in order because I want my x first. I'm going to put the minus x and then plus 10. That's the morning bell. And so now to get the y by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 5. Now, remember that there is a negative 1 out in front of that x. So this is really negative 1 fifth x. And then 10 divided by 5 is 2. So we're going to graph y is less than or equal to negative 1 fifth x plus 2. Okay, so let's get to um, let's get to some graph paper. Okay, we've got some graph paper now, and we have our equation written up there. Oops, I want to do that. Get rid of that over there. Okay y is less than or equal to negative 1 fifth x plus 2. We have it in slope intercept form, so that tells me that our y intercept is at positive 2. Now, my slope is negative 1 fifth, so I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. If my slope is negative 1 fifth, remember that is rise over run. And so I'm going to rise negative 1. So that means I fall 1, and then I run 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to fall 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and run 5. Now, just like we did the number lines for inequalities before, we're going to have two options here. On our number lines, we had closed circle or open circle. On our graphs, we're going to have dashed lines or solid lines. Solid lines are going to be where they are equal to. Dashed lines will be where they're just less than or greater than. In this case, it's less than or equal to. So that's going to be a solid line. And I'm going to go from okay, from there to there. Don't want to do that. Now, here's the inequality part. Now I need to substitute a value in and find out if I need to shade. I'm going to shade, just like we draw our arrows to the right or left, we're going to shade above this line or below this line. So what I tell kids to do is find 0, 0 which is the origin, which is right there. And I'm going to take my equation, y is less than or equal to negative 1 fifth x plus 2. My coordinates at 0, 0 are y is 0, x is 0. So I'm going to plug those coordinates in. Everywhere I see a y, a y I'm going to put 0. Everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put 0 and solve the equation. So that's going to be 0 is less than or equal to 0 plus 2. So that's going to be 0 is less than or equal to 2. Is 0 less than or equal 
to 2? The answer to that is yes. So since 0 is less than or equal to 2, and that's true, then I'm going to shade that area because that means anything in this area is going to be true. Had that come out false, I would have shaded the area above it. But because it's true, I want to cover it up and I want to shade it. Okay, let's work another one. This time we'll start off with the graph paper on there. Let's look at one like this. Okay, y is greater than 4. All right, this is one of the specific lines. It tells me it's either vertical or horizontal. So I'm going to go to where y is 4 on the y-axis. Let me label here real quick. Four spaces up. Remember when we graph these, it means anywhere you go, y is 4. So if I go over here, y is 4. If I go over here, y is 4. If I go here, y is 4. And you get the pattern. Anywhere I go, y is 4. So when I have y is greater than or less than something, it's going to be a horizontal line. Okay, because it is greater than, and it doesn't have an equal to underneath it, then we need to do a dashed line. And I just said that, and I'm drawing a solid line. Let's try that again. Dash line. That's not a very good dash line. There we go. has an arrow there on the end, but I'll make it a little bigger one. Okay, that's a dash line. Now, the great thing about um, horizontal and dash lines is we don't have to test these. I know if I have a horizontal line, I know which way is greater. Is greater going to be up or is it going to be down? Obviously, greater will always be up. So I'm going to shade that area. Okay, you can shade it however you want to. You can shade it in color. Um, you can just make lines. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to see the area. Okay, final look. Let's look at one more. We've got negative 2x plus y greater than or equal to 4. So we want to add 2x to both sides. To x, x, there we go. So we end up with y is greater than or equal to, let's put the x's first, 2x plus 4. Okay, so that gives me a y-intercept of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And my slope is 2 over 1. Again, that's rise over run. So I'm going to rise 2 and run 1 in a positive direction. Rise 2, run 1. So 3 points is good enough. Now, it's greater than or equal to. So is that going to be a solid line or a dash line? That will be a solid line. So we're going to go just like that. Now, there's 0, 0. So let's plug that into the equation. Everywhere I see a y, I'm going to replace it with a 0. Everywhere I see an x, I'm going to replace it with a 0. Is 0 greater than or equal to 4? And that is false. So I want to shade the area that does not include 0, 0. 
So I'm going to go the other way. And that is the graph of y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 4. Okay, about 10 minutes, a little long today, but uh, it's a pretty good lesson. We'll spend a lot of time in class um, tomorrow and Friday working on graphing inequalities. So we'll see you tomorrow.